Hey YouTube. So all these hatches on this side of the truck are welded in now. I gotta grind them down yet and then go from there with body putty. But um, in the back here when you open up the tailgate, or not, you don't even have to open the tailgate when you move the tire, this back end has some big holes in it. So I made a panel for that and drilled it for the hinges. Now it's not in place there yet, it's just sitting on there because I'm actually, uh, I POR'd the back of it and I just want it to dry. And then while I was doing that, and don't you love brush repair, uh, there was a little hole here, right in here. So I figured, okay, I'll cut a little patch out. Next thing you know, it led one thing led to the other. And here, somebody had already been in here. You can see that this is weld here. Okay, this edge. I painted it with POR15 in there. I'm not going in there because this is not what was told, uh, what was asked of me to do, just the body outside. But I still have to have something here that's going to be decent. So this is a, uh, uh, actually one of the cab mounts for the body. Right here you can see the rubber bushing. So I took the bolt out of it and there's a metal plate there where you can, I don't know if you can see that bolt holder. But anyway, I took that plate out of there and what I did was I pulled the rubber bushing out with the bolt and I made a panel to fit in there and I also drilled it to be able to get the, through the, the bolts through the um, uh, cab mount. So this way it'll be a cab mount as well as a patch repair. Now the thing is, is picking this up, all I did was, I, I didn't go loosen every bolt on the truck. All I did was put a long bar, I have this digging bar, I don't know if you can see it there, right there. I have this long digging bar, I just put it underneath here and actually pried up on it enough to just get the metal in there. So I've already had the patch in and it, it's a good fit. So what I'm going to do is let this POR15 dry good because if I try and weld while it's wet it'll catch on fire but when it's dry it doesn't do that. So um, that's POR15 in there so that'll stay like that and what I'll do is I'll weld the top and the bottom and I'm just going to fold underneath here and let that piece of metal be the new cab mount that piece of 16 gauge. It's, uh, what's there is not bad it's just that the outside here was bad and somebody welded alongside of that. So wrapping this uh, piece that I have underneath that is going to give some extra support and just in case something has to be welded, it can be welded to that piece. So that's why I'm putting POR15 on it so it'll you know, withstand the test of time a little bit. Come to think of it, I think I should uh, not only paint the inside of that, I should probably paint the bottom of this with POR15 this one this side this is the side that gets green paint so I think I'll uh, yeah I think I'll paint the bottom of that with POR 15 as well that way it'll keep it from rusting so it's always one thing after the other I have to laugh you know um, people ask me and it's not just one particular person everybody wants to know how much is it going to cost to fix the rusty hole well, you never know how big that rusty hole is. Like for instance over here I started to do a little grinding. Well there's a hole here, there's a hole here, there's a hole here, there's a hole there. And these three holes really didn't show up before. This one did. So, you know, you can't answer those questions. The thing is, is uh, you have to realize that if you're just doing rust repair, obviously you can't afford a new car or you don't want to spend money on one so you know you got to be a little lenient with uh, how much things cost when it comes to doing this but anyway um, that's not my problem I just wanted to show you what was happening next there alright guys have a good one bye